Hey guys, Matty Wolin from Shutterrunner.com and welcome to my video tutorial on composition. Now if you watched my first video on the three principles of learning photography, you know that principle number one is field practice over technical study. So what we're going to do for this video is we're going to take the technical aspects that go into photography, and we're going to put them aside, and I'm going to show you that you can take excellent photographs with little knowledge of the technical aspects of photography. There's a saying in photography that goes F11 and be there. What that saying really means is that the composition and the scene are much more important than getting the technical camera settings right for the shot. So what we're gonna do for this tutorial is we're gonna set our camera as follows. We're gonna put our camera in aperture priority mode. That's the little A on the dial on top of your camera. We're gonna put our aperture at F11, just like the saying, We'll set our ISO to the lowest setting that our camera offers. In my case, it's ISO 200. We'll put our white balance at auto. So for, the, for these shots, the only thing remaining is the focus and the composition. For focus, we're gonna find an element in our foreground about a third of the way from the bottom of the frame, and we're gonna set a focus point on that. Okay, so now I realize that I've totally simplified the way that we shoot landscapes but that's okay, in fact, that's the point. I really wanna show you that we can take excellent photographs without mastering or even thinking about the technical aspects of photography. Another point that I really wanna emphasize is that it's a good idea to put yourself in the best position to succeed. So what I mean by that is that a person shooting a mountain range or a city skyline during sunrise or sunset is gonna have more success than a person shooting their backyard in the middle of the day, for example. So what I'm gonna do for these tutorials is I'm gonna start shooting uh, along Lake Michigan. And I'm gonna wake up and start shooting about 45 minutes before sunrise. And I'm gonna work my way towards the, to the, towards the city skyline. And as I come across different photograph opportunities, I'm gonna show you how I apply my ideas for composition to each photograph. Now, you can get the full list of ideas, for example, the rule of thirds, um, leading lines, reflection, and all the ideas on my website at shutterrunner.com. All right, let's get started. Good morning, guys. The hard part is done. We got out of bed, it's time to shoot. As you can see, um, we got clear skies, and the, the morning light is just starting to come through. We've got some great colors behind us here uh, on the lake. Let's go see if we can find some compositions. Okay guys, so um, found this cool, uh, I guess lighthouse looking, uh, sorry, not lighthouse, windmill looking statue. Uh, we've got the skyline here. We've got sunrise happening to our left. Um, so there's a few different things that we could do in terms of composition with this shot. Um, and, and just where we want to place, like what elements we want to get into the shot, where we want to place things. So what I've sort of come up with here and, and sort of um, already started to think about this composition. So um, let's talk about a couple things. One, we've got this wall of rocks and kind of this railing that will form a nice leading line for us. I think we want to use that uh, in terms of, uh, you know, leading lines. Certainly uh, rule of thirds, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but I am behind the windmill and I've got a really, really wide angle lens. I've got my 14 millimeter lens, so I'm, I'm uh, real wide and I've got uh, the windmill uh, towards my, my right third. And I think that's kind of how I want to keep the shot right now. Um, so let's head over to the GoPro. I'm going to fire this on. All right, so let's take a look at what the camera is seeing now. and. Uh, talk about some of the elements of composition. So like I said, I'm about a third, even less um, than a third with the, uh, with the windmill on the right. And I've got some leading lines going on. I've also got the horizon. Now there's a couple things I can do with the horizon. Right now I've got the horizon at the bottom third, which would be awesome if we had some cool clouds that we wanted to get in the sky, but unfortunately we got just a clear sky. So the other thing I could consider is sort of um, sort of switching. If I had some, some interesting texture or something, if I thought this grass was interesting enough, 
Um, I might consider going down and putting the horizon line towards the upper third, but I can't even get the windmill in. I mean, I have to be something like that. And, um, and I, I, I just don't like that. I like the sky better. So, so this is our composition right here. And like I said, so um, shooting at F11, and all that I need to do is set my focus and my focal length, my zoom, and I'm good to go. So in terms of focus, I'm gonna focus right on this windmill. Um, it's the perfect object that's about a third of the way uh, up from the shot, um, third of the way up from the from the frame that I'm shooting. So let's go ahead and take this shot here. Here's a nice focus. Trying to get that perfectly straight. Get that nice get a nice straight line on the horizon. I'm gonna get this guy lined up. About, like I said, a third, and we got our leading lines here. All right, so F11, ISO 200, let's take the shot. Okay, so I found another cool spot right here and plenty of elements uh, of composition that we can factor in. So uh, I did, it, it's, a, it's a very still night despite being a cloudless night. So that means that the, the lake is really calm and we're getting uh, at least a little bit of reflection from the Chicago skyline onto Lake Michigan here. So we're gonna try to incorporate reflection into this shot. Um, again, we got leading lines. We've got this, uh, the way that this um, uh, pier, whatever you wanna call it, forms uh, against the lake, gives a nice line leading into the skyline for us. Um, we've got maybe some texture from those rocks, although we are pretty far out. Um, so I've already sort of set up the composition and the reason I am, so usually I would get nice and close up to those rocks, but if you kind of see the way the lake bends, the closer we get towards those rocks, we lose the reflection of the John Hancock uh, building, which is that tallest building there in the middle. So uh, let's turn it over to the GoPro. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, what the camera is seeing now. And I've already got it pretty much how I want it. Um, the only sort of factor here is going to be the rule of thirds. So where do I want to put things? Um, certainly I'm thinking the horizon will be on the upper third. And we've got these leading lines in here. Of course the other uh, element of composition for this shot is the um, this low perspective that I have here. Try and get really intimate with, uh, with the lake down here. So yeah, I, I'm kind of liking this composition. And let's go ahead and focus. We're gonna focus down here, the lower third. We're looking for like a straight line to set the focus point. Um, of course, focus will be another tutorial that I'll, I'll have up later on. So we've got our focus, F11, ISO 200. Let's, let's fire the shot. Alrighty. Hey guys, so it's 7.12 a.m. exactly, which is the exact sunrise time. So, uh, you know, let's, let's take a break and enjoy the sunrise. Okay guys, so um, set up for another shot here. We've got some nice uh, ruffles in the, in the sand here. So that's gonna be a cool pattern for our foreground. In terms of other ideas for composition, uh, we'll put the horizon at about a third of the way up the frame. So let's go over to the GoPro. And hopefully we can minimize, uh, obviously we got some joggers coming through and some bikers, but um, let's see here. So I just wanna set this up and I, I don't mind the, um, the bikes over off to the right. I really like the light that's coming off the boat there. Uh, let's see. And we've got sort of a leading line. I don't know if that's like a bike. Someone rode their bike through the sand off to the left there, but that kind of looks nice. All right, let's go ahead and take the shot.
Okay guys, so uh, here we are at this cool sculpture tunnel thingy uh, in the Lincoln Park Zoo. If you Googled uh, you know, Chicago engagement photos, this would probably be the first result. You'd have this sculpture here with a nice couple standing right inside of here. The reason that this is so popular though is because there are so many elements of composition that lend themselves easily uh, in this area. Obviously you've got symmetry, you've got a perfectly symmetrical tunnel sculpture, um, certainly patterns and textures, very cool pattern uh, and, and textures in the sculpture itself. In terms of foreground and background, uh, if we take a picture with this as our foreground, it's set up to aim perfectly at the skyline and the Hancock Center uh, to be in the background. So a lot of elements of composition going on here. Um, the question is how do we compose our photos? So let's talk about that. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take my camera off of the tripod and I'm just gonna kinda, kinda walk around. I'm gonna crouch down low, I'm gonna get up high, I'm gonna walk forward. Do I want, you know, do I wanna get the whole kind of tunnel outside of here or do I wanna get closer and sort of um, make the tunnel kinda look limitless, you know, and, and so not telling the viewer how far back it goes, sort of makes the, um, the viewer of the photo feel like uh, this, this tunnel sculpture could be humongous and just kind of go on forever. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, you know, I didn't really like the low perspective so much. Now when shooting a symmetrical object, it's really important that we get right perfect in the middle because if you're not, you know, it's, you're really gonna be able to tell. So this is where careful composition becomes extremely important. Uh, again, our settings F11, we're um, ISO 200, white balance is auto, and re I'm really gonna take my time here and get the right, right, um, you know, just be perfectly straight. So I've chosen to get fairly high. I'm at, a, at about standing level with the tripod. Um, you know, I didn't, I, I like this better than, than kind of the low perspective. Um, and again, you know, I've, I've cropped uh, or I've kind of zoomed in so that you can't see where the sculpture starts. Again, that's to, that's to give the viewer the idea that this kind of goes on forever. So I like this composition, I'm going to set um, the focus down, uh, you know, a third of the way up from the frame and let's take a picture. Cool. Okay guys, uh, kind of a obvious composition here. Certainly have the reflection coming off the skyline, nice leading lines of the river into the skyline. So not much really to talk about here. Let's turn on the GoPro. All right, so again, you're seeing beautiful fall colors in the trees. And um, I already talked about that reflection of the skyline and the leading lines, um, both kind of this pathway off to the right and the, the river. So let's, um, let's put the skyline at the top third or the horizon at the top third of the frame and uh, just go ahead and fire up the shot. All right, so thanks for following along with my tutorial on composition. For my full guide on composition, be sure to check out shutterrunner.com. Thanks.